Well, summer is almost here. It's a few weeks away, but it's hotter than ever in here. It's always hot in here, actually. It's doubly hot today, though. Hi, everyone. I'm Ian Drew, senior editor here at Us Weekly Magazine, with our Us Weekly triple threat, Rebecca Beanstalk, hey. who's our deputy news editor, and Rachel Abramson, our star writer, all here <laughs> to bring you together all five of Hot Stuff, the top five sizzling stories from our new issue, right here on usmagazine.com. First up, Justin and Olivia on a date again. Yes. Can you believe that? Justin Timberlake and Olivia Wilde were doing all kinds of cozy, comforty things mm. this week at Southern Hospitality. Remember, a month ago they were on a date at yeah. Roxbury in LA, yeah. and a source says they've even hooked up before. Mm -hmm. So what's really going on? Well, if you ask Justin's rep, she's still maintaining nothing is going on, that mm. they are just former co-stars and mm -hmm. friends, but we'll have to see if they keep uh, Ending up right. places. Good looking couple. They're very good looking. Really good looking. Mm -hmm. And he owns the restaurant, right? So that's quite a way to woo her, take her to his spot. That's the spot, man. Mm -hmm. And next, Brad and Emily, their messy breakup. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. apparently over, I think, for Brad Womack mm -hmm. and Emily from The Bachelor. He tried to find love a second time. A source says the distance between them was not too great. They lived in different states and mm -hmm. they were always traveling. But still, another source says, well, it's not quite over yet. You guys are a little jumping the gun, but we think it is. And one of our sources said that he's been drunk texting her, which is kind of crazy. We have to see those texts. Oh my, well, you know we'll get that. I want to see those texts. And next, Joe Jonas and another Olivia seem to be getting very cozy at Maxim's Hot 100 party. Last week he was getting cozy with Olivia Munn. Mm -hmm. Another hot Olivia. Who's also mm -hmm. been with Justin Timberlake. Yes, remember yeah. that. Oh my god. Crazy. Yeah. Coming full circle. Mm -hmm. So uh, apparently they were getting very cozy and uh, he has a crush on her. Cute. I could see that one. Yeah, I could totally see that. And then he all dates the, around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think all the brothers will be linked if this happens, right? Yeah. They so can go on triple dates. Fun stuff. Yeah. Like we are like today. Yeah, yeah like perfect. We do this all the time. Yeah. And next, Paul moves in with <laughs> Nikki. Well, it's gotten very serious on American Idol, or off American Idol, mm -hmm. between ousted finalists, mm -hmm. Paul McDonald and Nikki Reed. He's apparently living with her, and they were doing the party circuit last week. Not only that, she's trying to help him land a record deal and introducing him to contacts all over LA. And uh, we'll see what goes, but it's, it's very serious. Yeah, it's crazy. You don't usually see these uh, idol people dating major stars, right? Yeah. It's like. Pretty cool. I wonder if he's seen Twilight yet. Remember That's he right. said oh, Right. And finally, talk about coming full circle. In this week's VIP scene, mm -hmm. we actually have a sighting of Chelsea Clinton, of all people, at the Dizzy Rooster, which is the bar in Texas owned by Brad Womack. Crazy. Not only that, she just got married, but mm -hmm. was there for a bachelorette party. Right. So she must Very know how good. to throw a good party. She yeah. knows, yeah. She knows the hot spots to go yeah. to, too. She also knows about spots. <laughs> A theme in this stuff. Uh, a lot of themes going on, yeah, yeah, this time. Well, that's all the time we have left for this week's triple helping of hot stuff. Once again, I'm Ian Drew, senior editor here at Us Weekly Magazine, with this week's very special guest, Rebecca Beanstalk and Rachel Abramson, also from Us Weekly. But you can get these stories and much, much more in the meantime, until next week, all in our new issue on Newsstands Now. <laughs>